this is Myri Lane from the Buying Space channel. Today I'm reading from the King James Version of the Bible. I'm reading in the New Testament. Last time I read chapter 4 about heaven. I did say that I was going to do a part 2 about heaven, about my interpretation of Revelations and more focused study. I've decided not to do that. I did a reading in Matthew that reminded me that no one knows the day or the hour and so predictive information is somewhat unnecessary because Jesus Christ himself said no one knows. So all I will say is the revelation has an introduction and then it has seven letters to the churches which are supposed to be seven eras of the church and then when you get to chapter 4 and that's the past um, when you get to chapter 4 it's the, and to uh, chapter 22 it's the future and it's predictive in itself it's prophecy and assigning political interpretations is controversial and much, most of the time when this is done it's incorrect and it's changed every four years when we get a new political party in charge so I'm just not going to do that um, I will give a little bit here and there maybe I'll say at some point in time maybe a few people believe this or uh, believe that but uh, I'm not going to do a focused study on it I'm just going to go ahead and read chapter 5 and proceed from there. Uh, part 2 of chapter 4 is not occurring. So, chapter 5, verse 1. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written and on the back within and on the back side sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book, to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven, nor in the earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open and read the book, neither to look therein. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book, and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, in the middle of the elders stood a lamb, as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which were the seven spirits of God, set forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and gold vials full of odors which are the prayers of the saints and they sung a new song saying thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation and has made us to our God kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth and I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels around about the throne and the beasts and the elders and the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand thousands of thousands 
saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive the power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And every creature which is in the heaven and on the earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all that are in them heard I saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb for ever and ever. And the four beasts said, Amen. And the four and twenty elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth for ever and ever. And that is chapter 5 of Revelation. There is a foretelling in chapter in Daniel that is very similar, if not the same. It doesn't contradict uh, the uh, this passage in Revelation at all, other than it calls the Lamb the Son of Man. And in Matthew... Jesus Christ himself, in the red letter words of Matthew, calls himself the Son of Man. So I will predict that Jesus Christ is the Lamb and the Son of Man that opened the book. Have a blessed day, everyone. If you like my this Bible reading, please hit the like button. If you want to hear more, turn the subscribe button from red to gray and click that all bell. And every time I do a reading, you'll receive a notification.